Jamie and this is Biddy here and we're joining you for game 41 round one of Rolling Realms. Biddy's gonna go down here. Um, so we have three classic realms here and three fairly, I'm gonna say, uh, this might be famous last words, but these are three somewhat easy realms to complete. So we'll see how we do here, but we have Between Two Cities, Viticulture, and My Little Psy. Um, between two cities, you just need to write down no numbers that aren't the same as other orthogonal numbers. Viticulture, you're trying to complete wine orders using at least one grape and uh, and another number. And in My Little Scythe, you are uh, really, you're getting stars from My Little Scythe by just accumulating resources in any way possible. So I feel pretty good here. Hey, Chad. Chad's joining me today. Let's see how we do. All right. First roll. A six and a two. A six and a two. I think six is a stronger. Oh, Bid, you can't be eating that. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Bid, you shouldn't be eating that food. Um, all right. Uh, six and a two. I like a six over in Viticulture. Um, I'd love to get a coin, though. Yeah. Yeah, six is good in viticulture, but if I get a coin, I can do one of everything, which I think I'd prefer. Although no, I don't I don't need to complete between two cities. I really only need six numbers there. So let's go for the six here, the big six in viticulture. We need those high numbers. And the two I'll put over in my little scythe and get a heart. All right. Turn two. A three and a four. Three and a four. When numbers add up to seven in Rolling Realms, you can use two coins to copy one of those numbers if you want. Um, I don't have any coins yet, so I don't think I'll be doing that, but I have a three and a four. I'll probably want to keep going with my little scythe. I could probably not do anything in Viticulture if I didn't want to. Let's put the lower number here in my little scythe. Put that three there, get another heart. That four. What do we want to do? Nathan says he'll be playing through tonight on YouTube and post his scores later. Awesome, Nathan. Sounds great. So between two cities or viticulture? That is the choice. I really would like to get between two cities moving. It can be quite good if I can get that moving along. Let's go for it. Let's put a four right in the middle here of between two cities. Turn three. A two and a three. I like the two because it means in my little scythe we can actually with two or three we can complete a pair over there. Um, and over here we can get a two or get a coin out of the two. So let's use the three. We'll put the three here, we'll get a pumpkin. We'll use the two right here in Viticulture and get a coin. And now we have that coin, which I'll probably use in between two cities. It might be ultimately exchanging a coin for a coin, but I think it's worth it. Let's take that coin and put it right right here i think that's a one i like that so far so good this will be a pretty quick game these are kind of classic realms easier realms and that's okay feel free to pause if i go too fast so we have another two and a three which is actually pretty good for my little side again because i can use the two here to get a pumpkin get another coin and the three i could put over in between two cities and get two more coins. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put the three right here in between two cities. Complete that column so I get two coins. And now I'll use one of those coins to complete this grape and viticulture and get another coin. We're at turn, what, turn four here. So we need to save three turns at the end to complete viticulture, which we should be able to do. I need some more resources here to trigger my little side stars. So we get on turn five. We have a five and a one. Five and a one. I like the five in Viticulture. I do think I'll put it right there and get a pumpkin. And the one. What do I want to do with that one? I want to keep getting resources. So I could go either way between two cities, my little side. Probably I'm going I'm to create a coin either way. So I'll put the one right here, my little side. I'll get a heart. 
And really the challenge here, this is a kind of an interesting combination. It is going to be, I would say, fairly easy to get all 18 stars here. But how, far, how much above 18 stars can you get? That might be the difference in this game. So I'm going to use that coin I just created over here to get, uh, to put a one right there in between two cities. No immediate benefits. Turn six, another five and a row, one. We rolled a two and a three, a two and a three, then a five and a one, and a five and a one. One works over in my little side again, and the five I'll probably use in Viticulture to complete a, uh, a wine order. So I'll put the one right here. That's a pumpkin and a coin. Let's put the five and let's add that five to, I don't know, we'll go for the, the low number. We'll add the five to another five and get a wine order here in Viticulture, the first stars of the game. Although technically I have two stars from, from my little side already as well. And in between two cities, why not? Let's use another coin over here in between two cities. I need to make sure I have six numbers in between two cities so I can uh, score fully for that realm. I need to make sure I finish out these resources to optimize my little scythe. I probably only want to put one more number in between two cities. Maybe two, though, to complete another row column. A six and a two. We started out with a six and a two. This will be another one, another good one for completing a wine order in Viticulture. It isn't good in my little scythe, but that's okay. Between two cities, where do I want to put it? Um, I know I'm getting hearts, probably hearts from Viticulture, so let's use it to get some pumpkins in between two cities. I'll put it right here. I'll put the two right here. That six, I will add to this six and complete another wine order. And remember, in Viticulture, you can go over. You don't have to get exactly these numbers. You can go over if you want to. All right, two turns left. Got to really optimize this here. We have another three and a four. So now we have, we have all duplicates. Look, every single roll has been duplicated once this round so far. A three and a four. So I think in Viticulture, I need to use that four. Because I, I can't add up to that final wine order yet. So I'll use that four to get a heart. The three. Ooh, I can't put the three. I put that two in the wrong place in between two cities. I don't know if you can see that. But I put that two in the wrong place. So I can't put it here. But I could put the three right there in between two cities. I could also manipulate it in my little scythe. But I don't think I want to do that. Let's put the three right here in between two cities to get a coin and a pumpkin. So I basically need, oh, this is gonna be interesting because I need one more heart. So I need to get a four, five, or six over here on my little side, but I also need a high number in Viticulture to complete that. And really, I don't wanna write anything else down in between two cities. Um, yeah, ideally, I would not write anything else down there. Let's see what happens. I think we can make this work. We might just need to spend a little bit more than than, uh, than I was hoping to spend. But we need high numbers. Those are high numbers, four and five. So what do we need for Viticulture? We need uh, the, four, uh, the four will do, right? Yeah, we have seven. Yes, yeah, so the four plus these goes up here. That's the final wine order. The five can go over in my little scythe. Yeah, we'll have to spend a little bit here. But I think it'll work out. Yeah, I use the five right here. That gets us the last heart that we need. And now I need to spend two, a little bit more than I wanted to spend. You will probably optimize this better than me. That gives us the final two pumpkins. The reason I need them, again, for my little scythe scoring. So I will get, I have enough resources. You don't have to have uh, still have those resources. You just need to have earned them. So I have all the resources for my little side. The lower of my two numbers is a six. So I get between two cities and I have at least six numbers there. I went a little bit over what I need to do in between two cities, but that's okay. And I have a lot of extra resources left over. I have uh, 13, 14, 15 extra resources left over. So that is a 19.5. I can't wait to see. I bet someone's gonna crack 20. Let me know in the comments below if you cracked 20 stars in this round. And uh, tomorrow, I'll be back around the same time for a round of Libertalia, Tapestry, and Rolling Realms. So a few promo realms and Tapestry mixed in there. I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you around this time tomorrow. 
See you later. Oh, and Chad, Chad said he filled them up, or he's admiring how I filled them up. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.